out there, send him back. <laughs> Bring him back into the arena. But meanwhile, myself and Mr. 3000 will be holding it down for you as we come right on into Losers Finals for Jen and Stock Taker. I know these two hate to run into each other in bracket, but... It's Losers Finals. Yeah. Like, I figure if you're going to do it anywhere in a bracket, you might as well do it in top three. Yeah. Like, top three, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Now, the last one they played, I believe it was Stock who had won. Really? Okay. Interesting. Yes, because I think it was, wasn't it a player's ball? I, no, at least on mainstream, I never saw Stock Taker, so I have no idea. I but. feel like these two ran into each other very early on a player's ball ultimate. Possible, but, yeah. Uh, Y'all would have to check the brackets Regardless. to see if I'm just crazy. Uh, Jen doing a pretty good two to one ratio right now. Oh, but almost uh, dying. Uh, Sock had the right idea with the uh, the roll read, but was too close. Or I think he was trying to cover a roll and regular getup, but it just isn't big enough. But gets the kill anyway. Uh, even though he was losing the damage war, uh, was able to take out the Sock. And uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's that covers a lot because it's so tall that he just had to read a jump of like any capacity. It was just like, come near my space, die. So Jen evening up that percent and now taking him for a ride. Uh, super, super even percent, but it's still low enough where you, you can start your combo videos, see what happens, and it can just like quickly sway in either one's favor. Yeah, I know this is Stock's anti-Palu character just because it's so, like, battle-hardened from fighting a lot of the Palus through okay. the length of uh, Ultimate's playtime. Yeah. But I also feel like Stock's own foray into playing Palutena has given him such a good idea of what he's able to avoid, what he's Ugh. able to contest. But there's just some options from Jen you can't think through. Th yeah, there's just some things that Jen does with Palu that, like, no one else does. And so, like, even if you do play the character and you're really far, really hyper-aware, like, you... You just don't consider that. And he's just like, check out this sick reset. And you're like, I guess, uh, I'll see myself out. You got it. Thanks, man. I'll just hold that damage. Yeah. And now he's seeing a full percent lap uh, in Jen's favor. Already putting Jen in the triple digits on his last stock. I said Jen. Putting stock in the triple digits last stock. And like, now he has to play super careful for an entire stock if he's able to get this kill. And like, Wolf is the kind of character who can do it. But versus a player like Jen, it, it's going to be very difficult. Goodbye. Goodbye. What nope. angle nope. was that? Ooh, ah. That was horrifying. That's always the weird thing about getting hit by multi-hits from like a, a, a less than conventional like way of get, entering it. So like from the bottom side, like, like that is so weird. And like when it trades, you're just like, well, what part of it hit me? What angle am I going? Thanks, boys. 160, finally going to take the, the kill. Now, like I said, Wolf can do it. He has those, he's got crazy low percent combos. He's got a great damage output. And sometimes when he doesn't want to get touched, it don't matter. But you know what? Jen going to touch him. But not going to do it just yet. And That'll do it, dust though. Up. Puts him right in the, bender, the blender right there. Ooh. All right, Jen taking game one. That was pretty fast. Yeah, I never got to finish putting, uh, tweeting out the match. Yeah, no, that was a very fast-paced battle, and those are to be expected when you see Jen and Stock fighting each other. That was also kind of sick AF, yeah. It was a very good match to display Jen's talents because there was a lot of instances there where Jen only knew what to respond with because he's seen Stock playing Wolf so many times. Yeah. Like, a ridiculous amount of snap reactions were needed to make that play weave together as effectively as it did. Game 2 bringing itself to Final Destination, I think is a really good call for Stock because it's going to limit the amount of space that Jen can cover in one or two options. So, like, Dev brought up the idea that Up Smash is denying a ton of space. It's covering so many options when it's thrown out on Battlefield. It doesn't have that kind of uh, option coverage here on FD. Yeah, and there's also the fact that just, like, taking away the dimension of landing by getting rid of the platforms uh, is going to help out a little bit because now when you... When you're trying to do your 50-50s on landing, like, Palunair will control a lot of space. Because it's just like, if you fall through, then, you know, you're, you're foregoing the platform in general. But if you're on the platform, you literally have an, an even more extended amount of time that Nair or just any aerial is just going to be, like, active in that spot. Because it's literally, they're in the air for it. And, man, while we're talking about that, Jen just, like, putting in so much work on that first stop. Uh, 
basically just showing, like, like take me anywhere. Like, Pal is definitely a character that doesn't really care too much about what stage she goes to. Like, obviously, there she does have, um, like, stages that are better than others. But she's like, I can make it work. Yeah, she doesn't even fare that particularly poorly on FD. I feel like the character yeah. actually is able to control a ton of space in a small amount of effort. Yeah, she, she has a really decent ground speed, which allows her to get juggle situations. And so, like, FD can will just, you know, magnify that uh, that trait. You know, when you're this quick and you have something that you make someone feel uneasy about landing uh, kind of far because of, like, explosive flame, and if they, like, go falling on you, when we already know that, like, that's the day one, like, I need to, like, guys, don't don't fall in on your opponents, you know? Yeah, and no, then they're, you're they're dodging stage. on an opponent like Palutena yeah. is, like, the worst thing you could be doing, especially with someone with the patience of Jen, mm -hmm. who is just waiting for an opportunity to nair or up tilt someone's wayward landings. Like, it just gets so grim so fast. I think the same could be said for this set right here as Jen... On the verge of three stocking stock, but he's not gonna let it happen. On the verge of JV three stocking stock. <laughs> <laughs> right, right now you just see stock ticker racking up the damage, getting the tech chase and falling neutral is just already at sixty percent in those few interactions. My friend, you missed quite a massacre on your way to coming into this loser's finals. This set's finals. been really OD and pretty high octane. That that gas yeah. is is burning at high high temperatures. Like, I, I don't know where the idea that Palutena is a campy character comes from if you watch New York streams, because my word, Jen leading the pack on this character's aggro play, and it's not even like he's just outright mashing. There's just so many smart, lightning-fast calls that make it seem like Palutena doesn't give you any options. Yep. And Jen was trying to go through like a grounded down and maybe thinking he could punish it with something maybe a little bit more menacing, you know, following up with an up air, but unfortunately not being able to connect it. And right now, both of them are just really dancing around each other, going through like the same option out of shield at the exact same time. He's, I like, I'm already like seeing like both these players Ooh. are in each other's heads, and the up smash scooping up Jen. And I saw Stock take it at three to one Stock deficit, but he brought it all the way back. But the down throw into the reverse aerial rush back here is going to do quite a number on his percent and stage positioning. I feel like that's the beauty of Stock whenever he has to play against someone who he's very comfortable with, is that he knows what options they're going to go for just as much as he knows yep. that someone's going to know what he's doing. It's a lot of that, I know that you know that I know that you know, and... Strange, Wolf isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Wolf is a great character for that style of play, though, because, yeah, you're taking all this abuse, but yep. as long as you still have some life in the game, you still have a chance to bring that all back. But, admittedly, that chance looking kind of slim right now. Stock is fighting for his life. Wow, Jen was maybe trying to get a jump lead with the up air, but not being able to connect it. Stock taker stringing forward and forward and forward, and trying to finish it off with the back air and the F smash not connecting. <laughs> <laughs> and the explosive flame. That was really good play from wow. Jen. Stock is not happy with it, but I know Jen and Putting Jen, Jen, Jen as the victor in losers finals and putting Stock. Um, so for those of you guys that don't know what just happened, uh, 